Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. We have just over 50 items here. I believe I paid right around $100 for everything that you will see in this video. We have about five pairs of shoes, some accessories, and then the rest will be mostly women's clothing, but I do have some men's items mixed in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with shoes, we first have this gorgeous pair of turquoise cowboy boots. How incredible are these? They are genuine leather and then they have this laser cut design. They're in excellent condition. This is the back heel and the bottom sole. I hadn't heard of this brand before, but I did look it up and it does look very expensive. V-E-A-R-I. And they do have the Goodyear welt, which is a definite sign of quality. They're a size 37. I'm so excited to get those listed. I need to do a little bit more research to see exactly just how much to list them for, but I'm thinking around maybe 125 ish to 150. Next, we have a very wardrobe staple essential pair of neutral gray flat booties here. These are from the brand Fry, and again, they're in excellent condition. There is the bottom sole. That's the logo. These are a size nine and they are a genuine suede upper. Another pair of booties. These are Sperry. I do pick up Sperry shoes if they are not the classic kind of boat shoe. I think those are pretty out, but a high quality pair of leather booties like these, I will for sure grab. This burnishing here is manufactured at the toes. They have a really nice kind of braided detail there, and then that is the logo. These are a size women's 10. Next, very bread and butter, just little pair of Sam Edelman leather flats. I usually pick these up when I see them at the outlets. They sell consistently for me around $25 to $30-ish. These are a size 7.5. They're just a great, comfortable pair of flats to have you know, in your wardrobe. I have several pairs of Sam Edelman flats in my own closet. Lastly for shoes, we have these Clarks wedge cork sandals. I am going to be on the hunt for quality sandals as springtime approaches. These have a really nice kind of suede crisscross upper and they are cushion soft, so they're a comfort shoe. These are a size nine and they are genuine leather. Okay, moving into some accessories now. We have a belt. This is so cool. Very boho and kind of rugged with this, it's like a hammered metal O-ring closure and then a double buckle. Uh, it is genuine leather and it is by a great brand that you guys should for sure be on the lookout for with accessories. It's called Leather Rock, genuine leather, made in USA, and this is a size extra small. This would be so cute to wear over like an oversized tunic and just have it kind of cinch the waist in. We have a couple hats. I was so excited to find this. I've never found this brand before. They rolled out a new rotation and I spotted this hat from across the bin. Like it was in the been over and so I asked a man if he could throw it to me and he did which I was so happy about because I could just see the quality from afar. It is GG Pip and it is 100% straw, size small, medium. So high quality, so nice. I think this is a genuine leather or genuine suede braided uh, little detail there. And this is so cute on, I did try it on, but I'm not going to keep it, I'm going to sell it. Uh, I think that'll sell for like 50 to 75-ish. Second and final hat, I just grabbed this one based on style. I thought it was so cute with the polka dots. It's definitely not as high quality as the last one. It's just Melrose and Market, which I think is sold at Nordstrom. But I just thought this was so cute. And again, with springtime approaching, it should sell pretty well. We have one bag and 
This I got because if you guys are familiar with the brand Harvey's seatbelt bag, I don't know, I think the brand is just Harvey's, but they make seatbelt bags and they can sell for so much money. This definitely reminded me of that. It is a backpack, so it's not just like a purse or anything, which backpacks have been huge the last five years or so. And it does have that kind of like seatbelt look and feel to it, like the woven seatbelt look. And it was in pretty good condition. It does have feet on the bottom, so that's nice. Um, and it does fully zip closed for extra security. There are zip zippered pockets inside. It has absolutely no brand, so this is not a Harvey's bag. It just says made in China. But I mean, it's fully lined. It has a handle, the straps are adjustable. So I mean, the quality is there and I think this is so funky and cute. I do not see this having any trouble selling for you know less than $45, maybe a little bit more just because it is so quirky and cute. We're going to take a quick pause and talk about the sponsor of today's video, Earth Breeze. So one of my most commonly asked questions from you guys is if I wash the clothing that I thrift to resell. And I would say roughly 80% of what I thrift is fine just being steamed because steaming does sanitize and kill germs. However, a solid 20% does need to be washed, whether it has a surface spot or an odor. And I'm super excited excited to share with you guys what I have been using as laundry detergent because it has been working so well for me and there's so many reasons that I stand behind the company and that is Earth Breeze. So I've been loving using Earth Breeze mainly because it has gotten rid of everything that is wrong with old-fashioned laundry detergent. Yes, I'm talking about those huge heavy jugs that I have to lug up the stairs to my second floor apartment and that I really just have no room to store. Especially when you consider the liquid detergent that is in those heavy jugs can be up to 90% water. But more importantly to me, as someone who really makes an effort to be eco-friendly in my own business, you guys know I use as little plastic as possible when I am shipping out items, Earth Breeze really aligns with this mindset by having biodegradable and plastic-free packaging. This is huge considering 91% of plastic ends up in a landfill. Over 700 million jugs of laundry detergent end up in landfills and oceans every year. Earth Breeze has powerful eco sheets that look like a dryer sheet, but they're not. It's a detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water and any cycle or machine. It's just such an easy product to use and store. There's no measuring involved. You just toss them in and forget about it. It has been dermatologically tested and it is safe for sensitive skin. And a huge plus is that the packaging is just so compact. I'm always looking for ways to save space in my limited storage areas and Earth Breeze Eco Sheets really help out with that. I really feel good about using this product and standing behind the company because their packaging is biodegradable and plastic free. You can even put it in your house plants or garden. It's also vegan and cruelty free. And with their buy one, give 10 initiative, each purchase donates 10 loads of detergent to a charitable cause of your choice. Plus, the logistics of ordering are so hassle-free. Their flexible subscriptions can be adjusted, paused, or canceled at any time with no penalty. And they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back, no questions asked, and no returns necessary. Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes odor, so you still get a powerful clean. There's no reason not to switch. I really have been enjoying it when, like I said, when something needs to be washed, it needs to be washed, and Earth Breeze has really been getting my items clean and smelling good, and like I said, I feel really good standing behind the company. Go to earthbreeze.com slash mcthriftsy to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash mcthriftsy for 40% off your subscription. Getting into the clothing now, we're going to start off with a huge comfy cozy piece it's free people the label is upside down i'm not sure why it's one size fits all and this is the most oversized comfy cozy slouchy poncho cape 
kind of piece ever. It's so cute. It's so slouchy. This is the kind of thing, you know, you're on the couch, you're wrapped up in a blanket, you're so cozy, so comfy, you don't want to get up, but you have errands to run. This is the kind of thing that you want in your life to just grab and throw on to take the place of that blanket and still be comfy when you have to leave your house. So we love that. I think that will sell I would guess 65 to 85 ish. I need to still run comps, but that's a very substantial kind of piece from free people. Okay, next we have a merino wool Irish sweater vest. Yeah, made in Ireland, 100% wool. It is a cable knit, it's a long line open front vest. And this is gorgeous. It has pockets here. I love this kind of robin's egg blue. And this is in excellent condition. I've said it a million times, but if you see wool or cashmere that is made in Ireland, you do want to get it. It is just a higher tier, higher quality kind of fabric and material, and people do search it out. That will sell around $50. So this was the absolute best find of the day. I, it took my breath away when I found it. I, I just stood there in shock for a solid 45 seconds. I know everyone was like, is she okay? It is a new with tags, Ula Johnson maxi dress. It's the Kamala dress. It retailed for $445 and it is gorgeous. It was just, and it was in a bin that everyone had already looked through. They rolled out the rotation. Everyone had gone through this bin and I was just kind of, I had, I was on the other side. I circled around and found it. <laughs> I mean, I just, I am still in shock to this day, but so yeah, it, it wraps over, it's a wrap dress and then it does have two ties here. It's so flattering. I love the sleeves. I cannot believe it's new with tags, 100% cotton. So yeah, this will probably sell around $250, I would guess. Again, especially with warmer weather on the horizon. Another excellent find. I have been wanting to find this brand forever. I've never found it before. It is Made Worn. I'll show you the tag in just a sec, but it's a Guns N' Roses Tour 1999 shirt. It does have manufactured distressing at the neck and then just kind of like small holes throughout. So when I first saw it, I kind of was like, oh, that's probably just like a little t-shirt from Target. But then I looked at it a little bit closer and I could tell that it was higher quality, mainly just by the stitching and the manufactured distressing. I'm not sure if this is focusing, but if you can see that, that kind of stitching there is an indication of a higher kind of quality piece. So this is the tag. Let me show you guys. You definitely want to keep an eye out for this brand. It is made worn. This is a size small. This t-shirt will sell for around a hundred dollars. It's a very expensive brand and you know with Guns N' Roses being so popular that will have no trouble selling. Next we have a more kind of bread and butter piece. This is a hundred percent linen and it's a button down shirt with a little pocket. I did want to get this because it is the newer Zara tag and it is 100% linen. It's a size medium. It's kind of that boyfriend fit, which has been really trendy. This would be adorable to wear open over a swimsuit or, you know, obviously buttoned up and has cute little gold buttons. I grabbed this because it's new with tags. So it's Ann Taylor Loft new tags. I also loved the textured rainbow stripe. So all of these stripes have like a fuzzy texture to them. And because it is a newer piece, this is from 2020. So for all those reasons, I wanted to grab this. I think it will sell probably 28 ish. Next we have urban outfitters. I pretty much always buy Urban Outfitters flannels just because they do consistently sell really well for me. This one's a size small, definitely oversized and slouchy. It's a pink and blue 
plaid print. It has a dolman sleeve to it and tortoiseshell buttons, which I am a sucker for tortoiseshell buttons. I think they're so cute. So that's just a nice throw on and go kind of top. Tory Burch, size large. This is a mock neck sweater. The neckline is ribbed as well as the sleeves. It's long line, it does have side vents. And this is 100% merino wool. So just a high quality kind of wardrobe staple. You could wear this with so much. Yeah, 100% merino wool. You could go the minimalist route, wear this with like black straight trousers. You could dress it down with some white sneakers. Very versatile. This was another good find. So this is newer tag cabby. It's kind of... Oh, here it is. Here's the tag. It's a size medium. And this is called, I forget what it's called, but it is a play suit is how they describe it. So it's a really soft, stretchy jersey knit. And this is like the t-shirt portion. And then you do have an attached pair of pants. And I think, yeah, they're just like a skinny leg kind of pant, very soft. It seems very comfortable. So I think the idea is the top kind of like drapes over the pants when you're wearing it. Nothing is cut out. It looks like you would have a cut out, but nothing is cut out when you're wearing it. The top kind of drapes over the pants. And so yeah, it seems super soft, super stretchy. I could see that being a really practical piece to throw on when you don't feel like putting an outfit together. You just throw on this, you know, one piece jumpsuit kind of thing. Next up we have a Madewell size medium, very bread and butter kind of Western button up shirt. This is an older piece from Madewell, but I definitely did want to get it because rodeo season is approaching. So I will add rodeo, cowboy, cowgirl, Western, all of those keywords into the listing and it should sell pretty quickly. It does have some manufactured fading, really cute. Tahari, I do pick up Tahari when it's a good material, but if it's not either linen or cashmere, I do tend to leave it behind. However, this is 100% linen. It's a boxy, vibrant coral top with a little bit of a high-low hem. Next up, another kind of basic piece but this is newer from Nike, it's the Nike T. It's a size 3X and it looks brand new. So I wanted to grab it, it'll probably sell, I would say 25 to 28-ish. It's very soft and it seems like it would be very comfy. I think it's also long line, so you know, you could wear this with leggings. I think it's from 2022. No, sorry, fall of 2021. Okay, next we have our first men's piece. One man donated his entire outerwear collection. I'm not sure why, but it was all really nice, uh, reputable brands that everyone knows. So I did want to go ahead and pick it all up. This is Eddie Bauer. It's a size extra large and it is a rip stop material. So if you can see the texture on this fabric, it's like little squares. That means that if you get caught on something, like if you're walking by something metal and it kind of rips your jacket, the fabric will stop it from ripping, rip stop. Uh, I think it's like used a lot in hiking. So if you like fall, your pants don't just totally rip open if you get caught on something. But this jacket is made of that and it's a long line, just kind of like almost like rain jacket type thing, all weather jacket. It does have large slip in pockets and it's in great shape. Looks like it was never worn. So I had to go ahead and get this. It does zip close in front and then it does have the drawstrings. Okay, next. Anthropology. This is a newer piece from Anthropology. It's Maeve, and I think this is so adorable. It's a size two. So it is a novelty print blouse. It has 
little tigers all over. How adorable. It's a full button front and then the sleeves kind of have a little bit of a puff to them. The end is elastic. So adorable, very cute and quirky. Speaking of, we have this vintage vest. And I will add a ton of keywords into this, like granny core, cottage core. I think this will fly out of my closet. I love the colors to it and the pattern. And it also is really nice uh, materials. So it says mousy for Susan Bristol made in Hong Kong. I know there's a denim brand, Mousy. I don't think this is related, but it's 80% Shetland wool, 14% Angora rabbit hair, and 6% nylon. So yeah, really nice quality, really cute. Next we have just a basic pair of Free People shorts. These are newer, which is great, and they have a lot of like trendy characteristics to them, like fading, distressing, they have the button fly, they are from the We The Free line and they are a size 24. Another men's piece, I grabbed this. This brand does sell pretty well for me over in my men's closet, Bonobos. A lot of people know it and search for it and it is pretty expensive. This is a slim fit size large. Another novelty print, which you guys know I love. It has chilies all over. How cute would this be for like a barbecue or any type of activity in general? <laughs> so these, I have heard of this brand from other resellers, but I've never found it before. These were originally sold through Anthropology, but this brand is definitely not exclusive to Anthropology. I think it's also sold at like Nordstrom and it has its own website. So these are a size 3X and they are a faux leather wide leg high rise pair of shorts. So I thought these were so cool and contemporary, very minimalist, but you could also style them to be very boho. You could tuck like a peasant blouse into these and do some like gladiator sandals for more of a boho look. Or, you know, with the contemporary kind of style, you could pair a turtleneck black sweater uh, and like a loafer. So yeah, I thought they were really versatile. They looked brand new and with them being plus size, I did want to grab them. Another brand that I have never found before, but I have heard of, Chinti and Parker. I could be saying that incorrectly, but it's a size medium and this is a 100% cashmere cardigan. How cute is this? It's just solid cream in front and then it does have a color block back. So it's navy up top and then kind of a cobalt bottom. They do stitch their initials onto their pieces and I mean with this being 100% cashmere I'm sure it will sell maybe 50 to 75 dollars. It probably retailed for around two to three hundred. Next, Zara Basic. I was excited to find this because it's a size extra large. It looks brand new and it is so cute. It's an open front blazer jacket with a reptile kind of snake print. It's neutral. You could wear this with an all black outfit and some thigh high boots and that would just be such a stunning look so yeah and it's really good quality it's fully lined the shoulders have a little bit of padding for some structure I think that might have been a blogger's favorite I did see a lot of blogger pictures when I was doing a little research on that so if it is I will be sure to include a blogger favorite in the listing because some people go on Poshmark and just search Zara blogger favorite to see what the more popular items are and so yeah, I will be sure to include that if it was. Okay, next, I have no idea where this brand is sold. It might be sold at like Walmart, Sim and Sam, but I could not leave this with how cute the style was. It's a tie-dye printed kimono lightweight jacket. So this is the sleeve and the front. It's an open front and then the back does have elastic to it. So it does have a little bit of shape. You can see that. I think, yeah, the inside tag was cut out, so I don't know what size it is. I would say it looks like maybe a medium or a large. 
I will have to measure it, but it's so cute. I think it will have no trouble selling for 25 to 28 ish. Next, more plus size. This is Coldwater Creek 3X. It's new with tags and it is a maxi button down shirt dress. So I did want to get this for several reasons. Um, obviously, I've named several. It's new with tags, it's 3X. It's a great color, this uh, forest green color. Also because shirt dresses sell very, very well for me. They are easy to wear, but they're also very comfortable and you know, you can just throw them on, look really put together, but still be comfy and practical. So yeah, I was excited to find this, especially with the belt still attached. I think this will probably go for 35-ish if I had to guess. Last item in our first bag, we have Anthropology. So this sub-brand within Anthropology, Pilcro and the Letterpress, this is their new tag. They have deleted the and the Letterpress portion, so it's just Pilcro now. And so this is a current piece. It's a size medium. It's like a slub cotton front and then more of like a woven lightweight cotton back with a plaid print does have rolled sleeves super cute okay moving on to our second and final bag here we have another piece of outerwear that i was mentioning that one man donated this is ll bean size extra extra large and this thing is so like the highest quality you can have for an outdoor jacket. It's thick, it's sturdy, it has so many pockets. It has a hood that you can tuck into your um, collar if you want to. It has all these like hidden pockets. And I mean, it's so heavy duty. This thing will keep you warm. This is the, the inside, it has the drawstrings zippered pockets inside. I mean, just really thoughtfully made. Here is the hood that you can kind of tuck in and zip closed if you want to. Looked brand new. I'm not sure what this will sell for. I'm thinking around $50. It is a vintage piece, so it is a little bit older, but with L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, it doesn't really matter because they're so well made that they hold up forever. More from that stack this is also men's Eddie Bauer. It's Eptech. Oh, and that jacket is Gore-Tex, which is something to look out for. I learned about that from the bin pickers. It does mean that it will sell for a little bit more the Gore-Tex stuff. So I will be sure to include that in the title and description. So back to this vest, it is Eddie Bauer and it is a size men's extra, extra large. This is a down filled puffer vest. Again, it looks brand new, so I had to get it. it. Has zippered pockets with the little pull tabs there. No flaws. Yeah, insulation goose down. So we love that. I think that'll sell maybe 30 to 40 ish. Another kind of bulky powderwear piece, but this is women's. This is Moth from Anthropology. It's a one size poncho sweater. This is adorable. It's so cute. It has a turtleneck and then it has optional armholes. So you can button to have armholes or you can unbutton for like a true poncho style patch pockets with braided trim so cute this will probably go for around 50 ish as well free people another substantial piece from free people this is a size large i love this it's a mock neck long sleeve top with these really dramatic side panels exposed stitching throughout and this kind of has like a little bit of a fuzzy texture to it the side panels and I'm happy that's a size large I feel like I usually only find extra small and small and free people next I don't know if I've ever actually sold this brand I have found it a couple times neon Buddha I think it does retail for quite a bit this was a size large and I just thought this was so cute I probably would have picked it up if it you know, we're not even a name brand. 
it has a turtleneck and then it's like a patchwork design with mixed media so this is like a stretchy cotton material and then this is more of a like sweater knit and it's at the wrist cuff as well only one wrist cuff though the other one is solid so i think this is adorable i will add a lot of keywords into that i think i could add like minimalist contemporary lag and look artsy boho okay this was another really exciting find i had never heard of this brand but I think the person who donated the Ula Johnson dress might have donated this as well. Um, I thought it might have been another Ula Johnson dress when I first saw it, so that's why I did grab it. The brand, though, is Yvonne S. And I, I didn't even look it up at the bins. I did read that it said handmade, so that was all I really needed to see. Um, I could also just kind of, uh, you know pick up on the quality and also with this style I knew that it was something good so this retailed for hundreds of dollars maybe like five or six hundred dollars and I will sell it I'll it will probably sell for around 200 to 250 dollars this is definitely a bolo brand it kind of has like a diamond chevron print little necktie there and then just very dramatic ruffles this is a size extra small so definitely that oversized kind of fit i always love finding and learning about new brands and then passing them on to you guys so don't forget to do your research on the brand yvonne s memorize the tag look up comps be familiar with it next we have cloth and stone size large i have definitely cooled off on picking up this brand but this looked brand new it kind of has like a leopard animal print to it it is a size large and you know at the end of the day these chambray shirts are just kind of wardrobe staples so I did want to get this I think it'll sell 25 28 ish more anthropology how adorable is this top it's like a plaid printed peasant blouse it is part wool and then this floral insert at the collar or at the chest does have a metallic weave to it. So cute. And then the back kind of has a flattering cut to it. Another men's piece, Peter Millar, a great brand to know and buy. The shirt will probably sell around $40. It's a size large, just a basic, button down dress shirt with the pocket does it have a pocket yeah it has a pocket and a, a like little micro polka dot print yet another brand that you guys should have on your radar i don't think i've ever sold this nsf great brand high quality basics expensive basics size large it's a camo printed t-shirt again let me show you guys the stitching on this because I feel like that was what kind of clued me into it being a higher quality top it's the same kind of stitching as a made worn shirt it's just it's these tiny details that you notice when you've been doing this for so long that just make your spidey senses go off on something being higher quality so I'll show you a side-by-side -side of both of the stitching of the stitching on both of these it is very similar can you kind of see it's just like a straight across stitch I don't know if this makes any sense but that was what clued me into this being a piece to pick up and look further into and turns out that retailed for I forget now but it was probably close to a hundred dollars it was pretty expensive when I looked it up Okay, this I got based on style, but then for me, I wanted to keep it. But then when I got it home and tried it on, I didn't love it. And then I looked it up and I think this is sold on Revolve. So it's a mini leopard print with dramatic puff sleeves. And then the back has a little keyhole closure 
and then it does zip open and back. I guess if you just want a little ventilation, maybe if you get a little sweaty, you can just unzip your bottom hem there. So yeah, I think this will sell maybe like 30-ish. Uh, that brand, I was looking up comps and it looks like it has sold pretty well in the past. Okay, more free people. This I'm going to have to put on my mannequin. It's like a pale pink, high neck, cotton, sleeveless blouse. And then, so it does, it's, let me see. It's going to be kind of hard to show, but this belt, it's actually supposed to have a belt in the front with this little like D-ring closure. And the back like crisscrosses with a cutout. Very hard to show without being on a mannequin or a stock photo, but it is really cute, the style of it. It's a size medium. Next we have Zara. Again, the newer tag in a size medium. And this is a linen blend jumpsuit or romper rather. High-waisted with a banded waist, so it's more flattering. Has a little tie in back, zips closed, has a cutout. Really cute. This would be adorable for like vacation, a little beach vacation. You wear this to dinner with some wedges. Here's that newer Pilcro tag from Anthropology again. This is a size small. It's like a brushed cotton little popover blouse with the high-low hem, some kind of woven details. And yeah, this particular fabric has been really popular. It's almost like a muslin kind of fabric. And yeah, I like that a lot. It's a little bit oversized. Another excellent find. I found so many just like heavy outerwear pieces. I'm not sure why. I think just a couple people donated a lot of their outerwear. Maybe they were cleaning out, spring cleaning if you will, getting a jump start on spring cleaning. This is newer tag Vince. It's a size extra 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 large and it is a long line. I think it goes past the knee sweater coat jacket. This thing is gorgeous. It does have some pilling. I did use my sweater shaver, but I am going to disclose that, you know, it does have a little bit of pilling, but it also has a ton of life left. So I could not leave it. It has two hook and eye closures. So you can wear it to where it's like a high neck and you're extra bundled and cozy. So the fabric content is 36% merino wool, 26% nylon, 18% alpaca, and it is from fall of 2021. So a very recent piece. This retailed for around $600. So with the wear, I would be happy with around 100. And it's just gorgeous. I can't believe I found that. Okay, so my next, what, like four or five pieces actually have flaws. So I saved them for the end. Uh, this just goes to show you that we all miss flaws. It happens. I will either try to repair these, sell them as is, possibly take to Plato's Closet. Um, it just depends. But yeah, it happens and here they are. So another newer tag, Zara dress. This is a size large. It's a maxi dress. It does button up at the chest and then it's a tiered skirt portion. And the flaw is here, just has a rip at one of the tiers. So I will see my Mimi, if you watch my channel, my Mimi, uh, my grandma, she does my repairs for me. So I will see what she thinks about that. But I might just redonate this. Um, it might be kind of a hard thing to sew up. I'm not sure she usually lets me know. Next we have Mink Pink, size large. This is so cute. I was definitely bummed that this had a flaw. Look at this print. I don't always get this brand, but this was just adorable. Very boho. It does button from the waist down and it has side slits and that is where the flaw is on one side. Yeah, it just has some ripping. I'll probably still sell this one 
as is because this is definitely not super noticeable especially if you wear this to like the beach i don't think that would be an issue at all so this was very strange to me this is soft surroundings 100 percent linen i was really excited to find this because it's a great color it's a great fabric it's long line and it looked brand new to me because the pockets are still sewn shut and linen when it's been worn it really kind of takes on like some fading and some wear to the material this had none of that but then when i went to photograph it i saw that at the armpits it has holes so very odd no signs of wear otherwise the other one is definitely not as bad so yeah, I'm not sure what I will do with this. I think this one might be a donate, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make like a flawed box because I feel like maybe some people wouldn't care about that. I don't know. I don't, I'm pretty, I really don't care about wearing flawed items. I'll wear stuff with holes and rips and stains, but I don't know how I would feel with them being at my armpits. <laughs> that might be kind of weird. Okay, this last piece in this haul is another flawed item which was such a bummer because this is another bolo i had not heard of it palmer harding but the tag being tacked on uh was what first clued me into it being higher quality and then the print and cut of the top just kind of reinforced that idea and it turns out yeah this probably would have sold for like 150 ish on poshmark it's a popover asymmetric hem tunic top with this really vibrant artsy print to it however unfortunately it does have like two rips somewhere at the bottom hem and it looks like someone just took scissors to it oh yeah here it is yeah so two rips right there again maybe i'll see if we can try to fix that i think i'm seeing another one a third one now so maybe not but yeah it is a really nice piece and you guys should be on the lookout for this brand so if i picked it up for nothing else other than to pass along this info to you guys i'm happy about that but yeah that is absolutely everything for this huge bins haul i have everything photoed and measured already it's in my draft so i just need to go ahead and list it but it should all be listed by the time this thrift haul goes live i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought about my finds did you know any of the brands that i hadn't heard of i'm always curious to know uh you know what everyone thinks about uh what i'm finding it's always interesting to read y'all's feedback so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys soon bye y'all